Back inbound. Find cover. So as you can see here, the game is brutal, it's gory, it's awesome, it's epic, there's tons of action. Just like every Call of Duty, this game is going to be awesome, it's going to be decently well tuned, it's going to work on launch, though the servers on the other hand might uh, might not. But here's some gameplay for you, and here's your guide to what I thought of the beta. So first things first, the max level of the beta was 35, that's how high you could get. Uh, in terms of the PC beta, I know for the PS4 beta, at first it was 30, then I think they upped it to 35. Then you got to choose five different factions that uh, generally you leveled up and they had different, I don't want to say perks, but uh, different, you know, quote unquote abilities or, you know, they were supposed to play a certain play style, more or less. And on top of that, we had five game modes. Those included Team Deathmatch, Domination, War, Hardpoint, and Mosh Pit. And all those are pretty standard. War is the new one that uh, they're trying to highlight where you guide the tank through the city. And it's, it's okay. It, it was uh, another Call of Duty game mode, more or less, but most people are going to be playing that Team Deathmatch, Domination, Hardpoint, all those classics. The beta also included 18 primary weapons from shotguns, SMGs, assault rifles, etc. That doesn't include the secondaries like the pistol, the bazooka, the grenades for that matter. Then overall we had four maps. One like this that had the trenches in it, there was a city one, there was a winter one, and another one out there. Now, moving past what the beta included, just how was it? Overall, I mean, it was pretty decent. It was a, it was a solid Call of Duty game. It, it was way better than, you know, kind of that sci-fi look. I like the boots on the ground, the kind of simplistic run-and-gun nature that the original games had. There's not too much verticality, uh, which is good in some ways, bad in some ways. It was really true to COD formula, though, so you're not, you're not going to see, you know, Battlefield 1 in this game. It feels like a Call of Duty game. And uh, that's that's going to be consistent, as always, with an Activision game, especially when it comes to Call of Duty. The sound, in particular, was fantastic. I don't know if you watched that clip right in the beginning with all those different, you know, the combat and the dude burning. The sound is great. It feels epic. When you get a kill, it sounds awesome. Like, it sounds like you just slaughtered the dude. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty fantastic. And on top of that, the graphics are great. I know, uh, sitting down with Blake... He at first looked at this and he's like, oh, I, th I thought this was Battlefield 1 that you're showing me. And the graphics look great. They're not as good as Battlefield 1 as most Call of Duties are. They look good. Nothing too, you know, ridiculous, but something that's pretty good and pretty on top of it. Now, starting to get into the negatives, this is still a Call of Duty game. So if you don't like that formula, you can't stand it, this is why you're a Battlefield fan or a Rainbow Six Siege fan or whatever you play. If you can't stand COD... This is COD, so you're not getting anything different here. Uh, it's just COD with the awesome World War II skin. It's taking steps back away from that, you know, wall running parkour stuff. So there's not really a lot of changes here. Next, uh, we had some issues where if you had a more powerful machine, generally, you could run it well and there wasn't a lot of lag. But for whatever reason, some machines, especially the ones that didn't have as, uh, you know, high-tech hardware in there, we're having some input lag, and they really couldn't fix it. Only, you know, only certain machines could, and I don't know the rhyme or reason to it. I didn't really look into it that much, but it ran great for me. It didn't run great for everyone. Now, the maps on itself, they look, you know, visually fantastic, but unfortunately, they just don't feel like they're a real location. It, it, it kind of feels like you took an arena and they put a World War II skin on it. it. It doesn't really feel like you're fighting in trenches, you're fighting in a town. It looks like you know, they built this little arena, and then they painted everything with a World War II print on it. And then the last thing is, there's some weapon balancing that really kind of needs to be done. The SMGs had to be tweaked to mid-beta, because they were just way too good. Uh, you saw that shotgun spree I had in the beginning of the video. That was my first time jumping in, not knowing the map or anything. And the shotguns weren't too overpowered in my mind, but, you know, there, there might be some tweaking that needs done. Some of the guns were not very viable, like the Lewis gun. You know, I really couldn't get a kill with it. It was just, the spread was too bad, and you, I couldn't tell, you know, what, what I was trying to use it for. Was I trying to get long range, or was I trying to get short range? Now, moving forward, I do think this is a really good sign for the game. I think it's really good. I think it's a lot of fun, and I'm really excited for the release. I'm really looking forward to the maps, the zombies, the story. Uh, I want to see more guns. I want to I wanna level up more than, you know, what I did, and I want to see the tweaks from the beta. I want to see that balancing so that you know, I can use certain guns and I feel like I'm actually able to, you know, get a kill with them. 
And overall, like, I just think it's a really good sign, but this is uh, my review and impressions of the Call of Duty World War II PC beta in specific. And I think it was great. I think it's a great sign for, you know, the PC users as well as for, you know, the game itself. But anyways, that was it, guys. So check back to STG for more Call of Duty World War II and more content coming soon.